hi guys welcome back if you're new here welcome my name is Aya and today I will be showing you how to make the best couscous in the world and yes you guess it the best couscous is Tunisian the Tunisian couscous has been more than five times the couscous festival championship I will leave more details about it in the description box and now let's jump into the recipe here I am using a copper couscous steamer feel free to use the one you have this is more like in the fancy thing because I, i'm a couscous girl i like to cook couscous at least once a week so i start by heating one a little bit less than one cup of oil it's 200 milliliter and let me tell you something here i am making a lot of couscous it's two pound as this was for a family meeting it was like around eight people but if you're doing this for your family like around four people feel free to use only half of the ingredients and all the ingredients will be listed down below the video in the description box first i start by seasoning the oil with the pepper so here what i do i fry three long hot pepper a couple minutes just for a couple minutes until it's soft you can also use mild pepper if you prefer set the pepper aside we will use it later to decorate the couscous here I have previously chopped two medium red onion. You can also use white or yellow onion. Add the onion to the oil and let it fry for a couple minutes. In the meanwhile, I prepared the meat. Here I am using lamb. As I previously explained, this was made for a family meeting, so I used lots of meat. And that's how, you know, that's how we show hospitality in my country. But when I cook it for my family, I just use four pieces of meat. It's like one for each person. I added the meat to the onion and oil and let it fry a couple minutes from each side. Once the meat starts changing color, I added one tablespoon of paprika. You can also use smoked paprika if you prefer. This will give the couscous the rich red color. Then I added salt and pepper. Feel free to change the salt amount depending on your family taste. To that I am adding 4 generous tablespoons of tomato paste as you can see in the video. Let it fry for a couple more minutes on medium low. It's important to fry the tomato paste before you go to the next step so you don't have acidity in the sauce. At this point, I added one cup of chickpeas. This was dried chickpeas that I previously soaked overnight. If you prefer, you can also use one can of chickpeas, but make sure you add it at the end as the chickpeas in the can is already cooked. Give it a stir and add the water. Always use boiling water, otherwise the meat won't cook properly. Once the water starts boiling, I added three peeled clean carrots. In a large bowl, I empty two pound of couscous. I choose the fine grain and I will link it in the description box just in case you don't know where to get it. To that, I added three tablespoons of olive oil and mix well. You can use your hands or a wooden spoon. I mean, this is up to you. And this step is really important to help distribute the oil evenly and break up any balls or clumps. You want to make sure that each couscous grain is coated with oil. Add one cup of water gradually. Here you really need to get in with your hands and mix the whole thing together. Let it sit for 5 minutes until all the liquid is absorbed. Now you need to go through it and make sure that all clumps are loose. As you can see it easy separate. Now it's time to put the couscous in the steamer. 
make sure to put a plate or any other vessel under the steamer so you don't get couscous grain all over the place. Gently transfer the couscous to the steamer and don't press it down. Add some cloves to the couscous before you steam it. The cloves will give the couscous the specific taste that you only find in the Tunisian recipe. Just before I place the steamer over the pot with boiling sauce, I add one whole onion. I make sure there is enough water to cover the vegetable and the meat, then I place the steamer and let it steam for 30 minutes uncovered, as you can see. 30 minutes later, I place the steamer over a plate, then I check the sauce. If you see that the water is not covering the meat, add more boiling water and make sure to give it a good stir. Here I added 3 potatoes and let it cook. Back to the couscous. Empty the couscous to a large bowl and gently break the couscous grain, but make sure to take the cloves before you do this step. I completely forgot to do it at this point. Once all the grains are loose, I added one more cup of water and let the couscous sit for 5 minutes until the grain absorb all the moisture. Five minutes later, use your hands or wooden spoon to make sure that all the clumps are loose. Place the couscous back to the steamer and add some cloves. I would steam it again for 30 more minutes, but before that I added some zucchini and buttercup squash. So we do not use pumpkin for this recipe, but some specific kind of squash. I will leave more details about it, the name, where to find it in the description box. The zucchini and the squash will not take a lot of time to cook and that's why I add it at the end. Give it a stir and double check the sauce and it should look like this. Now I place the steamer back over the pot and let it steam for 30 minutes. Thirty minutes later, make sure you take all the cloves out of the couscous, empty into a large bowl and try to break any cloves. Add black pepper and salt to taste. If you look at the sauce, you will see some oil floating on the top. That's what you need to use at this step. Use that oil first to coat the couscous grain and stir and check there is no lumps. Here I added all the sauce to the couscous. The couscous need to be fully covered with the sauce, so make sure you take all the vegetables, all the meat, everything in the side, so you put all the sauce, and then you cover the ball with a plate and let it sit for 5 minutes. Now break down the couscous, transfer it to the plate, and use the meat and vegetable to decorate it. Thank you guys for sticking around, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the description box if you have any question or if you try it or if you need any um, information, do not hesitate to leave that in the comment and also subscribe to the channel for more recipes and see you in the next video.